Hey folks, Josh here with Weekend Angler. Behind me is the Big Muddy River here in Southern Illinois, and uh, we're gonna be trying to catch some catfish out of this today. So let's get everything together and uh, let's go fishing. All right guys, the river is way down and it uh, doesn't really appear to be moving too much, but we do have one little bit of an eddy over there. You can see that current coming in and swirling around, so I definitely want to put something in that area. And uh, I'll pan around here. We've also got that bridge pile on, and that acts as a good way to uh, break up the current a little bit. So when the river's not moving like this, the fish kind of sometimes get uh, a little bit freaked out, they, they get outside of their norm. So we're gonna to try to stay in those current areas. This is a, this, this whole area we're fishing is a big outside bend on this river. So we should have good opportunities for fish anyway. We're gonna be using cut bait today only. We're not gonna be using any live bait, but we do have a mixture of bluegill and gizzard shad. I caught those before I came out here. So uh, guys, let's get everything together. We'll get some lines in the water and hopefully start catching some fish. All right, let's get these in the water. We'll put that one over here. For now, we'll put this three-way rig out first. And uh, we've got a lot of swirling going on over there. So we'll pitch that one out that way. We'll see if that's should be enough to hold that down I would think guys Heath and I have been out here before where uh, it's took us six eight ounces of lead to reach bottom well that didn't take no time to sink that can't be deep there So that's two down. Let's put our other one over there by that bridge pylon. All right. We got our bluegill. We got our uh, chunk of bluegill. This big bluegill head there. We've got our shad over here. Oh, look at that. I think we're already getting a bite. That didn't take long. Barely had all the lines baited. Then we'll let that sit for a little while. At least we know there's fish here. So we've got two fish biting right now. I felt that one. I'm gonna go sit down and uh, we'll check that one here in a minute. Let's go ahead and get our timer set. We'll do a 15 minute timer. We got our 15 minute timer running. And uh, if we haven't gotten a bite on that one in 15 minutes, we're gonna move it down here. And at the end of 15 minutes, we're gonna check the bait, especially on that spinning rod. That's the one that had the shad body on there. And uh, 
there's probably a pretty good chance that we've, we've lost our bait on that one. All right, guys, we're literally down to the last minute on this thing. And that just uh, had another good jump. So uh, we'll wait and we'll do that one last. We'll come over and reel these in. I especially wanted to check the bait on this one for sure. I bet we're going to be baitless on this one. I don't know. Yep. We are baitless on that. I figured we would be. We'll take that fish off. There's our timer. So I'll tell you what we're gonna do. As you guys saw, that thing jumped again. I'm gonna go ahead and rebait this. We'll come back and mess with him here in a minute. Go down. All right, let's bring this one in. See what it's doing, what it looks like. We'll know in a hurry whether we've got anything. Oh, he was hooked up. <laughs> Guys, I didn't even know he was there. I'll show you guys something here in a second. Let me get him situated. I have to use our grippers on him. Alright guys, as you saw, uh, I got down there, I was going to change that uh, change that bait, bring that rod in, and uh, we actually had a fish on it. And uh, really didn't know he was there. You know, I saw it bite down and move a couple times like we were getting a bite, but we never got anything. Now this is the fish that we got. I'll show this to you guys. This is a, uh, this is what they call a bowfin or grinnel. Dog fish, it's got a lot of names. Now they're a, uh, they're a rough fish. I don't know if you guys could see that or not. They're very toothy fish. If you stick your finger in this thing's mouth, he'll tear you up. He'll flat tear you up in a hurry. So we're gonna let him go. As soon as I find a good way to get down there without falling in the in the drink. And we'll rebate our rods and go from there. So we'll put us a rod holder about right there. There we go, down there into that eddy. All right. We're back baited. And uh, we've got all three lines in the water now. We'll keep an eye on them. Let's reset our timer. Start another 15 minutes. And we'll keep an eye on these. Oop.
Oh, we set the timer, barely set the timer. We're already getting bites. That's a good thing. Not much you could do with the doing this is a bad thing because if you uh, try to set one of these circle hooks, I don't know about you guys, but anytime I try to set a circle hook, I get disappointed. So we'll let that one sit. <laughs> See whatever's down there, hook up. Let's check our bait here. This one, this one would be one that I'd be concerned to be baitless. No, it's not. We still got that piece. And there's one. Let's check our other one. Nope, look at that. That one got our bait. That don't happen very often with those shad heads hooked like that. But it did this time. So. Guys, that right there is why I set a timer anytime I'm catfishing. Is it's real easy when you start getting bites to uh, want to leave a rod sitting there for a while. Now this one had been getting a lot of bites while so I reeled it in, it was baitless. So if I'd have let that sit there, you know, I'd have let it sit forever, it wouldn't have caught a fish. So we're gonna get rebaited. All right, we'll pitch this one out there in the middle again. Just like that. Give it some time to sink. So we got us our bluegill head. Get this out here pitched into the drink. I don't know if it would cast with those things on, but we're not gonna find out. It looks like it lost its. Hmm. So, uh,. Before that thing starts getting a bite, I'm gonna check drag on it too. Really? There we go. Another one? Yep. All right, let's see here. All right, guys, we hooked up with him. It makes fish number two, but uh, another bullfin and uh, I'll tell you the truth up until today I'd only caught one of these in my life and I caught him on a spinnerbait fishing at crab orchard one time bass fishing and they wrecked that spinnerbait that thing was I'll try to see if I can find a picture of him but uh, we'll get this thing back in the water uh, we're not keeping these things these really aren't that good of a fish for I don't know any useful purpose on these things but uh, we're not just going to kill the fish and kill it. So we'll let him go. I'll toss it back in the water. Well, folks, we didn't get what we were after today, but we did catch fish, and sometimes that's all that matters. Uh, was kind of nice being able to show you guys a bowfin. Uh, 
that's a fish that we have plenty of down here in southern Illinois you just don't see them very often and uh, usually you find them in the backwaters when the water starts moving and that's kind of what we're running into today with the uh, river being down and the current being low on it so guys as always I want to thank you for watching my videos hit that like button share it subscribe and if you're on a mobile device hit that little bell it's located at the lower right hand corner of your screen and that'll let you know anytime I post a new video or go live and until next time we'll catch you out on the water Appreciate you watching Weekend Angle.